Hi, I'm Darren. Hi, I'm Gordon. And, and we're, we're the two, two gay, gay reefers. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about setting up Mobius on our Radeon Gen 4s. Uh, but before we do that, we want to say a massive thank you to Nick at uh, from Nick's Aquarium. Oceanarium Terrarium. I still can't say that, Nick, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, for supplying us our sponsored shirts. As everyone knows by now, Nick is sponsoring our channel and thank you so much for that sponsorship. We really do appreciate it. First of all, let's talk about what Mobius is. The ReefLink, everyone hates it because it always loses connection. Ours, I can tell you at the moment, I've watched it, it's more that rainbow colour than it is blue, and we all know the rainbow colour is bad. We do like rainbows. <laughs> we do, we do. So, Ecotech are introducing a new technology. Instead of using Wi-Fi, it's actually using Bluetooth now for connectivity. So, you'll be able to use everything uh, and control everything, all their devices via the app on your phone using Bluetooth instead of Wi-Fi, which is unpredictable. Yep. So this app is still in the better phase, so it means it's not out there for the general public. We were lucky enough to get access to it early, so we can test it out. We got this, this app a couple of months ago, uh, and when we first hooked up, we realized that one of our two Gen 4 Radeons wasn't compatible. So the one that's over ReefZilla at the moment is compatible. I think that's the right one. That's right, yep. that's right. Uh, but the one this behind one, us is not. So this one here we brought when we first got the uh, the Red Sea behind us here back in 2016. So and it was when the Radions were just released, Gen 4, so it was hot off the press. Basically all the devices that have been brought out in the last 12 to 18 months have got the Mobius chips or the, uh, the Bluetooth chips pre-built in. But we're told that it's very, very simple to actually get the upgrade uh, and we were lucky enough when we were at Macna to be given the chip that we needed by the guys at Ecotech. Thank you so much. Uh, and they actually supply us. Now we're going to work out how to put this thing in. So today's video we're going to go through how to install the chip, then how to program it and we'll go run through the Mobius app. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so first thing we have to do is obviously take the light off the tank, uh, remove the diffuser and uh, gave it a bit of a clean because it was a bit filthy looking. From what we've seen, there's nothing online about it to actually change this chip over. Uh, so we're playing it by ear, hopefully we can work this out. Um, or we destroy our radio. One or the other. So either way, it's in for good viewing. This is the plate that would, would not normally be on your radio if you haven't got the diffuser in place. Do highly recommend the diffusers. Check out our review up here of these things. So we're going to take, undo the four bolts around, the four, four screws around the outside. And then we take out the four screws from the inside here, around the uh, cooling fan. Remove the plate itself. My guess is this one here, because it's the only one that looks even remotely similar. So just going to gently pull it out like that. So that's the uh, Ecotech Marine RF module. All right, so we're replacing it with the new Mobius chip, which is the Bluetooth receiver, or transmitter, I should say. And it just goes back into exactly the same spot. And it's all nice and secure back in there. So that's all, from what we can work out, that's all we need to do. So all, now all we're gonna do is put it all back together, plug it in, and fingers crossed it works. It's back in place. Okay, so after probably about 20 minutes, it did take a while to update the old light to the new system, to Mobius. Uh, we did have a little bit of trouble we went through to add a legacy device and updated it. After it updated it, it didn't show and redid everything again, updated it again, and then that time it worked. The light behind us actually locked up, so that's why I wasn't finding it. Let's go now into the app and have a look at it. Into the Mobius app. Okie dokie, so we've got it coming up with Reefzilla. We've got two devices happening here. We're going to go through now and set a lighting schedule. So the schedule we're using is the coral colour to ramp up, 
the Coral AB Plus for most of the day and then ramp down into the Coral Color and then into night time. So let's go through and program both Radeons onto that. So we go on to the lighting schedule. So we go into templates. So we're going 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. We go to user templates. We go plus templates. We go into where I keep everything. Oh, Mobius crashed, unfortunately. So as you can see, the app is still in beta. It does have a few bugs. It does crash a little bit. Not sure if we're going to be able to do this because the app does keep crashing, unfortunately. So I'll just take you through a few uh, parts of the app. So if we go through and press edit, so here we go. We actually have the the lighting schedule that we've got at the moment, which is the Coral AB Plus, and you can go through and have a look at all the different colors. There's color schedules. You can program uh, storms in that time as well up the top of the screen. And you can go through and see all the different points. We can go through and do a little demo on the tank behind us. Here's the play behind me. So this goes through and does the day as it unfolds. Should be turning on now. And then slowly ramping down. So it's even got a spot on the app for the circulation. We don't have any devices at the moment, so it gives me a little sad face on the app. Yay. <laughs> and here on the main screen, we've got all the lovely little things like a live demo, so we can go through and change all the colors. So as you can see, it changing behind me there. So you get the color you want. You can do a color cycle, so it goes through all the different colors, which is quite cool. If you really want to send your fish crazy, you can do a disco mode. Fish really don't like this mode. <laughs> We've got a thunderstorm mode that you can do on demo as well. So to wrap up, we were able to get everything. The easiest part was actually putting the chip in. That was nice and easy. Everything with the Mobius app at the moment, you've got to understand that it is better testing. It is going to be prone to crashing, but it is linking up to the two Radeons quite successfully with no issues. So all in all, it's a bit of a win. As soon as they iron out all the bugs, I think it's going to be a great help to all Ecotech products and it'd be exciting to see what else they can add to this app in future and what other app, what other devices I've got planned to add into the app. Anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like, comment and subscribe. Like, comment and subscribe. Like, comment and subscribe. And as always, be excellent to each other and keep it salty everyone. See you guys. Bye for now. Reefers, today we're here and blah 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 blah. They better make the bit of a Tim for a dance with me.